Anyway, so we should be uh, getting ready for the Taiwan vs Japan match. I think we have a good idea as to like what the results will be. So let's try to go a little bit more into this. What do you think we'll see? Well, very interesting to say that we actually have. Uh, so we have Sand on the Taiwanese team, and we have U68 on the Japanese team. And it's interesting to see that both players actually have two maps that they've created or collabed in this pool. So I find that very interesting, but you know, at this sort of difficulty, it's not really much of a I made this map, I can play it. It's more of a I made this map and I hope I can play it. So I feel that Japan really just needs to try and capitalize off uh, Taiwan's weaknesses, whereas Taiwan needs to sort of just it's, it's really hard to, to go off Japan's weaknesses because, well, do they even exist is the real question. So, I mean, we've seen Taiwan actually has a really strong team. They were strong last year and I... You know, I can't believe I'm saying that they're so much stronger this year with a couple of their new players like Ping and Zavi. So of course, Japan somehow has also grown in strength with their team this year. I mean, they kind of need to stop doing it, really. Oh yeah, Sand has already, uh, already messaged in advance that uh, Taiwan, well, don't be surprised if Taiwan does anything weird today. So, we are expecting some weird things, Sand. I have high hopes. Oh, we have... We have a potentially very interesting... Oh. We have a suggestion for score v1. That already says a lot about what the warm-up could be. Oh, this could be cool. Oh, I immediately see in the difficulty name by Counter Chair. So that already says a lot about what's going to happen. This, yeah, this should definitely be good. Now, what would really be considered weird is if uh, the whole Taiwanese team plays Abakobe, uh, however you pronounce that, which is basically hitting blue on red notes and red on blue notes for the whole map. Oh, they just, um, played with, uh, yeah. What was the big hit that the Taiwanese team contributed to? I would take a guess at Grief and Malice. What's the map that Japan put Oh the... my goodness. What is over the hit circle right now? Is that a 0SV slider and a 0SV large slider? Oh my goodness, my eyes right now. <laughs> so it looks like Taiwan has a uh, hired cutter chair for a beautiful warm up. Those ninja notes though! Oh my goodness, those. You can. Yeah. Okay. Like, I missed those, and then I just I just saw this big blue blur go across this map. I'm like, what? It's even harder to predict where the notes are going to be because the notes are like they're on the bar line, so the bar line is also ninjured. What? Oh, these finishes are horrible. What is going on? I can't even tell. It made this me is... worry that Japan is hitting all of this as well. Taiwanese, Nash Taiwanese National Anthem rock version right here. 
What on earth? I'm amused, like... I'm very... I'm almost certain that Tasuke and U68 are seeing this for the first time ever, and they're offering around a pretty impressive 86 and 88% accuracy. Sorry, Twitch chat, what do you make of this? This is oh, this is amazing! Oh, what is this? Oh, this is absolutely beautiful. Well, now we can see why Skull V2 was uh, well, was requested to be changed back to the Skull V1. Just looking at players who have HP, I don't think anyone from Japan is going to pass, which is a, a very unusual thing to say. Yeah, I think this is gonna be sad. Oh my god! This is probably the best or strangest to warm up with head. What on earth? This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, those finishes are hidden behind the sliders. Ugh. Well, you've seen it here, guys. You've seen it here. Japan has been just... It looks like they're just going to be absolutely defeated, despite having higher score. Although U68 might actually pass, and I don't know what happened to Sand, but... All right. Well, this this was a very interesting thing. Well, I'd like to thank Loctev for being kind enough to switch it to Score V One for that beautiful performance. That was amazing. I from did Sam pass? He dropped yep. out before I could see. Well, there uh, we have it, guys. Ah. So yeah, we're, we're good. Well, I mean, there you go, Japan... <laughs> Japan has now conceded a point. See, I Actually, wasn't paying you that much attention to the chat, so for a second I thought Kaske just told Moktep to go to hell. Oh my goodness, this map is actually catastrophic. It's a map by Marichi, who is uh, one of my one of my favorite um, Japanese Taiko mappers. They make some really hard stuff. Another mapper I really like is uh, Fahrenheit, and they actually have a I believe they have a collaboration on this set, Havoc. And this is just this is just a hard set. I don't think I've heard Havoc, but I. I'm pretty sure I've heard of um, Blacky vs. Yo, or however you pronounce um, the name. Well, there was Havocs was a HD pick in the group stage, but that was the ranked set by a uh, French player Arrival. This is this is a this is a much less nicer version of that. No, I'm pretty sure I've heard like one of their other tracks from either Standard or Mania, maybe Mania. Mania is probably actually a lot more likely. Especially given the uh, the bang bang whoosh whoosh source. Oh yeah. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this map is around the nine. Like this is nine point two to nine point five stars, if I'm not mistaken. Well, the last one was nine point eight seven. Ah, uh, that's that's probably just inflated because of the way that drum roll just set. This one is <laughs> actually genuinely ridiculous. The map was actually submitted a year ago, the um, Irish National Anthem. Alright, now that this has started, let's actually have a look at the, um, the map listing for it. This is definitely... Ah, it's 9.11 stars, of course. Fahrenheit's <laughs> LSD. Yes. 911, well, what's the emergency? Players are going to have to call 911 after this because they are going to have very sore hands and wrists.
Now this is one of those maps where even on half time I struggle to get an A rank. This the Taiwanese warm up was a very nice joke, but this is a true test of skill. And I think the song is very fitting for a finals environment. Look at those one six streams. See? Just just looking at that, it's about to you right now. You're getting a crazy note lock. I think it's been crazy so far. Well... In come the streams. Oh, oh god, there's one I, six in there. I'd be... Oh, you finding no block. I'd be very intrigued to see who's going to pass this. Tasker is actually doing very well. Ping is doing very well. Xavier's doing... The whole Taiwanese team is getting close up to that pass range. And Sabatsu is not even... Play oh, goodness. And there. There goes the HPs. Absolutely destroyed. It's going to be a hard time for anyone on the Taiwanese team to even pass this map. Whilst you and Tasuke on the Japanese side are holding extremely strongly. The Sabatsu though, Sabatsu is just dead. Yep, yeah, and there goes Taiwan. I don't even think Ping will be able to make it from here. Oh, I don't guess that's fine. Warm up. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Only two passes, both from Tasuke and U68 on the Japanese side. An absolutely ridiculous map by Marichi. I'm scared. Okay, so we've got a 35. To 28. Oh. Seems good. Low roll World Cup. So it looks like. Stand in with the 43. Looks like Taiwan will win first map pick and Pan will win first ban. Any quick predictions of what you think will get banned? Oh, I feel that a hard rock ban from Japan is. I want to probably yeah, guess, um, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm going to randomly guess dopamine. Dopamine, alright. Okay, well, well they, went, they, went, they went for a Sans other map, uh, the collaboration with Backfire, which is freaking Melis. Which I suppose, is, I suppose it makes sense, it's a relatively easy map in my opinion compared to the rest of the pool. And it's free mod, so you know, it's like... Uh, when you go free mod, you give the opportunity, like, you ha if you don't have said opportunity to use a lot of mod combinations, you could be risking giving your opponent those opportunities, because they're able to pull that off. So, you know, when you're a team like Japan and you're really strong, banning the more easier picks is sort of understandable. And it looks like Taiwan's banning Calculator, which is a ridiculously, ridiculous hidden pick, which is uh, not so surprising from the Taiwanese team. As we've seen, they sort of, sort of are uh, slightly lacking in hidden compared to the other abilities like DT, No Mod, and Hard Rock. So it's fair enough. And Japan is a is a team with very formidable HP players. I'm actually a little sad because I was hoping at some point to see Groove and Malice, and I, I guess it's not going to be this one. There we go, they are already calling out Hard Rock against Japan. Wait. I don't know why, I don't know why they switched to II, but Loctav should know it's not Japan's turn to pick. <laughs> so Tasuke jokingly said we pick II even though it's not Japan's turn to pick. So we'll not be seeing II yet, but I can almost guarantee we'll be seeing you next from Japan. I kind of hope so. So yeah, for now we will be seeing we'll be seeing Freedom Dive.
Oh, don't worry, Stan. Today is a joke. Please don't be too serious. Don't, we're never serious. Don't you worry about that. I'm we just had an hour of discussion about old games. And tiny teddies. And starting a GoFundMe page for Ben B. Yeah, I don't think we could be any less serious if we tried. So, guys. Is uh, anyone going to achieve a 799.94 something PP play today? Let's find no, out. No, because Scorby 2. Oh, of course. <laughs> you know, it's very scary when Tarske, who's a very strong player and has been in the World Cup before, <laughs> automatically says, I'll fail this. Yeah, there's definitely a problem when Tarski is saying I'm going to fail. But you know, as we've seen in the previous two rounds, going for the really, really hard picks to make players fail is actually a viable strategy in a World Cup such as this. So the first selection will be the Hard Rock pick from Taiwan, which is going to be Freedom Dive X's Ultimate Challenge, uh, submitted by Ikoro, and I believe uh, mapped by Siaka. Well... All I know is this will be Taiwan's ultimate challenge to Japan. Oh, definitely. This is this is not just an ultimate challenge to play for; it has such a high star rating. But also, just to read, it's absolutely ridiculous. 222 BPM with a 1.4 base, I believe. But towards the end, it speeds up to 1.5 times the SV, and it it streams. It's just streams. With some minor 1-6 in it that I don't think is going to trip up too many players because they're not extremely complex. But if if you can't read this, you memorize this. That is essentially the rule of this map. Seven stars. This will roll accuracy seven. Well, that's good enough for pass. Yeah, just in case anyone didn't miss it, uh, in the unfortunate event that everyone does in fact fail, lock coverage is going to treat them all as part, so we don't have to uh, end up repeating matches. Yeah, this is like a very unusual stage where Taiko is the one game mode where it's impossible to fail mid-map, unlike the other modes. So for example, in other World Cups where, for example, CTV uh, both Manias and Standard, if a whole team fails, that's it. The, the map is done, and whichever team still has at least one player alive wins. But when it comes to Taiko, it is possible to have every single player fail. Just because, you know, whether you pass or not is determined at the very end of the map. So yeah, it's going to be very interesting if we see six fails, but seeing, seeing these players, I doubt we will. You know, since there are actually, um... Whoa, Xavier, what happened there? He like in trouble. Um, it would be kind of interesting if they fiddle around more with Scorby 2 to make it so that uh, the health system works a bit more like other game modes. Yeah, the main complaint that people had with that is that, well, as we've noticed from this World Cup, is we have a lot of, a lot of maps with just ridiculous bursts, and it's sort of unfair just to just to kill off players, just for one thing like that. Yeah, I do think like starting off with full health like all the other cameras would like, make more sense. Like for example, if we had HP work like other modes like that, right now, the match would be over, Taiwan would be dead. Taiwan would be dead and I believe uh, Asasa Yura and Tasuke on the Japanese side would also just be dead. So did, you was holding very well, just reaching the 300,000 mark and really being the main carry for Japan right now. So it does look like Tasuke and Nasu Yura might actually not pass at this rate. But judging from the way that the Taiwan is playing right now, it doesn't really... <laughs> uh, as as Sam said, it's a, it's a joke day, let's not take it too seriously. And uh, as we can see from team performance and, the, and this ridiculous map that they've gone and selected first, of all, 
like, they just had to select this first. If, if Taiwan is looking for picks like this, I would not be surprised if we saw some ridiculous things like Pacific Girls later on. Please don't ask me to play this. I can barely keep up. Look at this, we still got a little over a third of the map left, and looking at the HPs, Taiwan is just dead. I still have to hear a mind and she survived, his health is definitely enough there. The problem is the last SV is absolutely ridiculous, and if you have not memorized it, you are not going to read it very easily. We shall have to see how this plays out then. I mean, there is still actually a very strong possibility that U68 cannot even do the ending as well. But even in such an event that everyone fails, Japan is still going to take it just on his score alone. There's 650,000 points up. I like how, as you said, that you just tank like about a tenth of a health. But yeah, Taiwan's not gonna survive this. They've been on basically nothing the whole the whole map. Taiwan is Taiwan is just dead is dead. It just doesn't end. I think that's the problem with this map, it just keeps going. Streams, 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 and oh did I forget streams? No, I believe it's uh the HP drain on this is actually not that high with Hard Rock, it's only 5 point something. So, looking at U68's HP right now, I'd say Task. Task is going to have a hard time, Euro was very close. And Taiwan is Taiwan's just sort of doing their own thing right now. There's actually one thing you probably could do with this song though, like... It would be kind of easy to pick a point in the song and then just bloop it. <laughs> because it would just, there's certain points where it actually feels like the song is about to end and then just, nope. Well, as Smash Mouth once said, the streams start coming and they don't stop coming. And as we can see from that, only one pass from U68. Though that score looks very wrong, that looks like a score v1 score to me. Not sure if that's just my client mucking up. It is indeed my client mucking up, of course. I'm not so sure. Oh, yes, it actually does say 1.2 million, which is, well, it should be in... There aren't that many slider ticks in this, surely. Yeah, even with it, because I'm looking at the uh, end feeling it's his for too. Yeah. I don't yeah I, no. I don't think there's enough slider ticks in this map to contribute for a hundred and forty thousand points. I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> that was definitely weird. Usual, but regardless of scoring system, it's very evident that you was the only pass by quite a long shot. But yeah, that was, um, that was definitely something. You do have to remember that we did have a switch over to score v1, so I mean... Oh, it does say it was score v2 though, which is interesting. Yeah, I reached the MP link and it said score v2 for the second warmth as well, so I don't know. Though it's funny because according to the one one because no one on that team failed.
Well, I have a sneaking suspicion that we probably won't see much more freedom dive. Oh, after that, I hope we see more. I kinda don't. I like to see maps that the players can moderately pass. That was as majestic as the Poland versus Malaysia tiebreaker match. Anyway, it looks like Japan is going with the no mod pick, Kovatori, which is a very, very interesting map to say the least. It's got some very unusual snappings. It's a fairly technical pick in that regard. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we saw this in the last match either, so... Again, another new pick. Excellent. Oh, uh, I'm very sure that we definitely saw this in the last match. Definitely, yes. I remember the uh, the picks for Hong Kong and USA were Ethken, Kowatori, Shupajin, uh, Shup however yeah. you pronounce, Shupajin Rai, AQ Children Reincarnation Boiler, and Calculator, which is banned this match. Yeah, no, so we yeah, we have it. seen this before. But I suppose it's a fair enough pick, you know. Um, Freedom Dive is relatively fast at 222 BPM, and this is one of the more slower maps in the pool, only at 160 BPM. Though it does have some, uh, does have some 1.6 in it, which bumps it up a bit. Deadbeat, slightly disappointed uh, that we're not getting to see every map, but we still have the remainder of this match left. Well, I mean, we've still got four other matches after this one, plus we're only two maps in, so we've still got a, a, a good chance to see some other maps. Like Grief from Ellis. Oh, wait. Huh. It's like the one map I want to see out of everything. I do actually believe we've seen the Backfire and Sam's Grief and Malice as a warm-up during this World Cup. Yeah, I think we definitely saw one of the finals maps picked as a warm-up, which was very interesting, actually. Oh, I believe uh, Chile also chose uh, AQ Children Reincarnation, if I'm not mistaken, so... Guys, stop giving, stop giving the map selectors sadistic ideas. I don't think they need any more ideas. I, th I think they're already sadistic enough, given from uh, what we've been hearing from some of the players. Well, not players, but commentators earlier, so... Well, it actually looks like both teams are doing very well at the start, but this map's gonna start getting a bit more trickier. See, this part actually does look fun to play. Okay, no, not this part, but the, the bit before it did actually look kind of fun to play. Well, I mean, there goes the fun part. But... Oh, yeah, I mean, like, this constant change in between a 1 4 and 1 6 is just cruel. Yeah, we see misses from Xavier and Yishida on the uh, Taiwan 18. Why would you do this? This is beyond rude. <laughs> This map was, well, it's apparently a 2010 map which has been submitted just for the purpose of being used now. I'm just more scared about you. What is U68 doing? And to look at Tasuke is still full comboing with nope. a very impressive accuracy, well, stuff happened, you know. Okay, and you dropped down to, he, he lost his 100%, but what on he, earth? He, he dropped down to two one hundreds. Okay, three one hundreds by the look of it. Yeah, not two. What was that? I. Taiwan. How do you nearly a hundred percent accuracy that? Taiwan. No, it is three one hundreds. Goodness me, deadbeat. Come on. Oh yeah, I missed the one on the left. Uh, the right. Be like, how do you almost double this? That I mean, like. Really? Taiwan was doing very well, but when that slow SV kicked in with the 1-6, they were just absolutely obliterated. But here, 
Here is a good map that's being selected. Map by Sand. It is dopamine. And of course we're gonna have Ishida on the Taiwanese team switch out for Sand himself. You know what I am really disappointed by? Japan didn't pick Kaie. Oh, I expect it'll be it'll be later. Also, I stand confirmed that Stu will not be here today. He's rather unfortunate. Stu is a very strong player, one of the strongest for Taiwan. I feel like he's a hidden player? I don't know why. Is he? He's hidden very well. Yeah. This map is the reading challenge and an absolute insane one at that. I do not expect any full combos, honestly. Unless players have really, really practiced this map. If you try to if you try to play this map, maybe within your first ten tries, you are not going to get very fast. You'll pass, but you won't get much further than that. I feel like in this case, then we should just keep it on you, because I think, considering his uh, performance in the last map... But also Sand, it, it is his map, and Sand is known for crazy SV maps like this, so I'm very sure that he's capable of doing it. Fairly early misses from uh, Monkey Luffy and Pasco. I have to see if anyone forgets about this ninja cat. Oh, Monkey clearly forgetting about it, finding a miss there. Those pesky ninja notes. Alright. Those pesky ninja notes! And here comes the insane reading challenge. You and Urana are just like, yeah, we can S this. this. Commentators are dumb, they don't they don't know Japan's true power. Well apparently they can't. Well, there is no SS, but oh Urana finally dropping the full combo. U68 still holding it. The SB's gonna start to slow down some more. And even slower. <laughs> oh my goodness, you, what are you doing? He's just well, handling this like a boss. Well, you is current.